guys, it's huh. Delicracy here, yeah, and welcome well, to Let's Play The Sims 4 <laughs> Parenthood Part 41. Oh. We are at Sylvia and Xavier's house, and they're just enjoying living together, I guess. They're engaged, and they're wanting to elope. Uh, well, at least Xavier has said he wants to elope and just get married to Sylvia right away, even though they haven't really been together for that long. And Sylvia is totally down for that. She loves... Dwee. Being spontaneous, she loves excitement <laughs> in her life, speak. and she might not make the best decisions, <laughs> and she doesn't really pre-plan <laughs> before saying yes to decisions, but hey, that's just who oh, she is, and wow. maybe they'll live happily ever after, but maybe they won't, we'll see how we go. Anyway, I'm going to turn this off real quick, and I'm going to get Xavier to throw away that rubbish, and Sylvia can also uh, put away this, they can save that, and yeah. Their apartment is still looking really bare because they don't have a lot of money being a young couple, but hopefully, uh, hopefully they'll start earning more bit by bit, especially since Sylvia is uh, now doing quite well with the social media. She, she has quite a few followers, she's slaying the game, so that's really awesome. Uh, anyway, I just want to start off with looking at some comments from you guys. Um, I thought this was really interesting from Melbourne, Melbourne's Crazy World said, is nobody acknowledging the fact that Elliot liked all the girls in the group? He liked Bailey at the beginning and still does. And he had, and he had his moments with Sylvia and Olivia. I don't think Elliot realizes he's a player. Oh, you go girl. That's good. Getting all Zen, getting ready to elope. I love it. Um, so yeah, I thought that was a really interesting comment because I hadn't really ever thought of Elliot as a player. I don't think he is. I think he's always been in love with Bailey, but I think he had more crushes on the other girls uh, and they had crushes on him. So that was kind of a cool comment. Uh, also, I love that Kaylee Emmett said, I think Elliot would be a basketball player because he is, uh, his new job is he is a sporting star. Oh, you guys are so cute. And also Amy Tabasco said, Bailey needs to move out and be a vet. So now this is true. I thought Bailey would be pretty cool as a vet. However, why didn't Sylvia put away this? Uh, however, right now with a toddler, I don't want her to move out at all. So what I'm going to do is just let her enjoy Esther and her time together. Her mum can support her, Sports so she's very lucky up. about that. Um, I'm just gonna throw that one out. Are you seriously gonna put that on the table? Oh, these guys are grubby. Um, but yeah, eventually, maybe when Esther ages up and can go to school, I think Bailey will be able to move out and have a job of her own, and that's when we can maybe start Bailey as a vet, if that's the profession we choose to follow her. But I was thinking we might be able to do a vote or something like that. Anyway, it is 6.26 on a Sunday, and I'm wondering if we go for a night wedding with these two, like a night elopement. Uh, Sylvia's energy is kind of down, but I kind of like the idea of nighttime. Maybe we'll go to the new world of Brindleton Bay and they can kind of get married near the jetty or on the beach. Oh, that would be really nice actually. Okay, so what I think we need to do is change the appearance and plan the outfit of Silver and Xavier because she's not just gonna wear what she usually wears. She's gonna wear something special still. Palma, uh, okay, so let's go over here. I'm thinking, I'm thinking we don't go to sleep. <laughs> yeah, this just doesn't feel like the right outfit to get married in. So I'm thinking we go for something not traditional. I don't think this. Uh, something less traditional, but still really pretty. Like something along those lines, except I'm not really feeling that one. This is kind of nice, but it doesn't feel like Sylvia at all. Hmm. Hmm. I don't know you guys. Or we could go with something a little bit more casual because they don't have a whole heap of oh. money. I guess that's more realistic. Uh, she definitely wouldn't go the princess option. What about this? This dress feels like Sylvia. Like it's very beautiful. It's still contemporary. Mm. You know what? I quite like this. And would she go white or would she go with a non-traditional color like a powder blue? I think we'll still go the white and we'll give her some different hair. Uh, we'll put her hair up for this, I believe. Um, yeah, I think her hair up will look really pretty. Something a little bit more sophisticated. <gasps> oh my gosh, she looks so pretty. This is like fancy. This is super fancy. They're eloping, but they're still fancy. This looks a little old for her, I think. 
This, I know I use this hair a lot, but I just, I've always loved it. That was the first hair I ever gave the first, that is the hair I gave the first sim I ever created in a Sims 4. Let's do this. Let's do her hair like that, lighten up the makeup a bit. I think she'll go for a more natural look uh, with the eyes. Maybe not the blue. I think natural is good for this. Natural, uh, not double eyeliner. We'll do like the upper lash. We'll do some nice lighter. Oh, that was a bit too light. Oh, yeah. She looks like she's dusted fairy floss on her face, which you guys, a lot of you guys would call cotton, cotton candy, uh, but we call it fairy floss here in Australia. Fun fact for you guys watching. Oh, that's a nice lip shade on her. Yes, and this necklace, I don't know about the necklace. I mean, Sylvia is sometimes over the top, but mm, I feel like, yeah, I don't know. I feel like something like this is better suited, but then it's like double V effect. Do we want the double V or do we not want the double V? Or do we just go with nothing? I mean, nothing is quite pretty. The pearls. We need more options. I don't like, I'm not satisfied with any of these necklaces, I don't think. Ooh. Actually, that's quite pretty. Oh, and she went, ooh, I like that. You know what? I don't mind it, but I'm not in love with it. We'll just keep the earrings, the hair up. Lovely. Hmm. And let's check her shoe situation. Uh, no, that is absolutely not what she's wearing. She can have these shiny ones. Oh my God, she looks so pretty. Okay, and Xavier is definitely not wearing this. Let's see what he's... Okay, no, no. Nobody. I, I like that you're a little bit out there, but not, no, not for tonight. This is beautiful. <gasps> he could be in all white as well. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. Oh, I'm so excited, you guys. Uh, white shoes. Wait, what do you wear with an all white piece? I guess you wear brown because he's wearing a brown belt. I don't know, gents. Gents in the comments, what do you think? Okay, I hope I dressed him okay. All right, I love it. I love it. Yep, we're done, you guys. Let's do this. Let's get this <sighs> elopement on the road. Oh my gosh. I reckon she's told Bailey, but like obviously Bailey's not telling anyone because if you elope, the whole point is to keep it a secret. Okay, so they're in a fairly good mood. Let's go to Brindleton Bay and get married. Oh, She's going to be such a young bride. Her mom's going to freak. Victoria's not going to be happy about this. Clarice will be not surprised, I don't think. Maybe they should get married over here at Cavalier Cove. So, all right, let's go to Bailey's dad's house. Okay, that's nice. We'll take Sylvia with us and yeah, they'll elope on the beach. <sighs> I kind of wish we could have celebrants in The Sims 4. That would kind of be cool, but I guess the detail is a little bit much, isn't it? Bailey's dad's mansion. Okay, let's go over to the beach. I'm thinking like down here, right on the sand. <gasps> what about over here? This looks nice. Go here together. <gasps> oh wait, they're in their casual clothes. Okay, we need to definitely change that soon. I really hope Sylvia doesn't get too tired. That energy is going down really quickly. And it would really suck to be tired on your wedding day. Can we just look at this view? Oh, that's beautiful. A sunset wedding. I mean, it's 737, but it's not dark yet. Oh, she does look grumpy. She's tense from what? From feeling insecure if your significant other isn't around. Well, I mean, everyone, I guess, feels some nerves before getting married. I mean, I've never been married before, but I assume you would feel nervous. Uh, I feel like maybe I'd be the type of person to elope, but I wouldn't have a secret el elopement. I would tell people and like celebrate with everyone after. Oh my gosh, look, this is their audience. Moink, 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 moink. <laughs> okay, you guys, let's do this. Oh, this is so cute. There's seaweed on the ground. Nice. And then they should get a puppy. Okay, let's do it. Wait, wait, we need to get the exact right angle to watch this. Wait, the sun's setting over here. Where is this? No, 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 we need to look the other way. I'm sorry, you guys. I'm just like, this is, this is a big deal. Oh, this is so romantic. Okay, let's go. The beach 
beach waves crashing in the background. Oh, you guys, stop it. Look at that. They hugged? Oh. I kind of want to see Sylvia from another perspective. Merge day. Oh. She is swooning. Okay. Oh no! That's a. Oh no! Cute. And I like how the music just abruptly stops. <gasps> Look at that fish! It's an abyss fish who's got lost. Oh my god, that is the creepiest fish I've ever seen! Holy dooly! What is that doing it's in shallow waters? Oh, you guys! It's so cute! Invite to stay the night. Um, I think we're a little past that point. The north. Reverse she apartment key? Though. What? You guys live together! Okay, let's do another embrace. Oh, this is so nice. Pleasant conversation always pips up the spirits. Well, I'm glad you feel good about that, but just married! The promise of a lifetime of companionship will make any sim happy. Look at this, you guys. Look at this beautiful evening. Oh, in the lighthouse in the background. Who's, whose dog is that? Is there seriously a dog here? <gasps> Oh, Rosie, I was going to say, if it was a stray, we should totally adopt Rosie, but it's not. Okay, we should get a pug. Um, Alright, let's get rid of these notifications. Oh, Rosie's all stanky, the poor little thing. She looks like a stray. Oh, well, let's go say hello to Rosie. Like I have said in the past, there seems to be a lot of glitches with cats and dogs whereby it takes hours to interact with them. Like, look at this. There's not even any interaction happening, which is such a shame. I really dislike that. But hey, it looks like that's Brent's dog anyway. So, yeah. I also was thinking about the storyline with these, these two. I feel like Sylvia getting married so young because I've always thought of... Um, Xavier being a little bit younger, I kind of thought, well, maybe... Oh my god! <gasps> this is a stray! Can they adopt a dog that they found on their wedding night who was playing in dead fish? What's his name? Maya. 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 Oh... Interact with the dog or else I'll be really, really sad. Okay, Sylvia's on her way. Um, and she's getting tired. Oh, Look, sure. that is so cute. Imagining adopting a dog you found on, on your wedding night. Also, you guys, uh, thank you so much for watching the RSPCA collaboration videos uh, where I have been raising awareness about um, the importance of adoption and um, with the RSPCA and The Sims for celebrating cats and dogs, those videos are uh, about to go live creating the dogs I met at the RSPCA. Yeah, sure. So thank you for watching some of them and I hope you guys enjoy the upcoming <laughs> ones too. <laughs> oh, Sylvia should be like, can I please adopt? Let's take him home and fix him. Yes, offer friendship. Oh, and he's doing a doozy. That's so cute. Look. As if you can say no to this face. Oh my gosh. Magora. I want to adopt you. Pet care, adopt. Can we just adopt? I think she's got to offer friendship first. Get to know. I don't know. I don't know how we can adopt it, you guys. Off of friendship again. Let's just speed it up a little bit. Ooh, May is a bit of a troublemaker dog. Oh look, there's little Rosie again. Rosie ain't astray though. I'm gonna just keep trying to offer the friendship. But I guess it takes a little while to offer a dog. They're not just gonna be like, yeah, sure, let's be friends. Okay. Oh! Stubborn and a troublemaker. Hmm. Okay, 
oh. get to know a little bit more. Let's uh, encourage misbehavior. I don't think we'll encourage the misbehavior. This feels really realistic. Oh, oh my gosh, you guys. That was cute. We need this dog. We need... Adopt! Adopt! Yay! Okay, so you just have to get to know the pet a little bit more before adopting them. Oh my gosh. And Xavier's going to be like... Okay, taking care of a pet is a new responsibility. Oh my god. Oh no, I've forgotten their last name. Oh man. Let's call it Maya Beach because we found it oh, at the beach. Lord. And I know I spelled beach differently. Oh. <gasps> you guys, that was so cute. Congratulations, you've added a pet to your household. Okay. Oh. Well, let's go home and give you a bath and Xavier's gonna be like, okay, what an amazing wedding gift. What an amazing wedding gift. I am so down for that. Okay, Maya, you don't have to sleep on the beach anymore. We've got you a beautiful new home. We'll get some dog beds, which I'm really frustrated the dog beds still are so flat. I don't know. Maya is hungry. That's okay, Maya, don't worry. Mommy's gonna, I mean, Sylvia, mommy's gonna help. <laughs> okay, so let's go. Let's go to pets. I mean, see what I mean? I can't believe these are so flat and there's only two bed options. <sighs> I mean, it was a bit disappointing for a um, cats and dogs pets expansion to have so little available for the actual pets because I don't know when there's ever gonna be an option again for pet stuff uh, because I think... Oh, that's kind of cute. I don't see a stuff pack being made with more pet stuff. I could be wrong though. Uh, I kind of like this one. I like that this house has a more homely feel about it than say Bailey's house where Clarice is like a neat freak and everything matches, you know? Let's maybe, yeah. Okay, I'm gonna go with that. Uh, maybe an automatic food bowl because it drives me nuts always filling it up sometimes, especially when we're not in this household all the time either. It's like a gold one. Interesting. I think I'll just go black one. Let's keep it simple. Let's put it over here. <gasps> what? I did not know the bowl came out of that. Wait, does that mean we can, <gasps> cool, we can mix and match this. I never knew that. Oh, that's cool. I feel like she would definitely get like a fun colored bowl, pet bowl. Okay, I could have just changed the color of that one. I know, I know you guys. Uh, and then in terms of toys, I mean, we don't need heaps of toys. We can just have like one for now and build our way up to more if we feel like it. Okay, so let's, Bill and call Maya to eat. Yay! Oh, Maya. Bea needs a bath. Sylvia's tired. There we go. And can we, and then we'll fill this as well. Oh my gosh, and we can schedule a time? Oh, that's awkward. That is through the wedding dress. <laughs> Uh, I don't know. How often do they need to be fed? We'll just say every three hours. I feel like that would not be okay for any dog that is older than a puppy. Uh, but hey, we'll see how we go. Okay, uh, she can maybe crawl back into bed. No, Actually, baby. let's wake up Xavier. Let's wake him up and be like, oh. we brought the dog they home. <laughs> ah. He'll be like, oh my god, Sylvia. Whatever makes you happy. Oh, it's like, now get to bed. I'll look after Maya now and get her settled in. And we are not trying for a baby yet. I don't think. Whoa, she ate that quickly. Okay, let's go over here, get to know and praise. And then I think we need to give this stray a bath. Yeah, I think so. Oh, and let's Galipo turn these go. onto autolites because they need to keep their bills down. Dipper, dipper. And we can offer Chino friendship Linka. to give a treat. <laughs> Yay, Xavier became friends. Borb. Okay, so uh, <laughs> can we 
we can brush the pet, but how do we, we don't have a bath for a dog. So I'm a little bit confused on how we actually, maybe we can only brush. I'm not really sure. Give bath. Okay. Bathtub is required. So we do need to buy a bathtub. Well, what happens if you have families that don't have bathtubs? Oh, well, this pet has become a lot more expensive than I thought. Uh, which is probably you know, expected whenever you get pets. Okay, let's just reshuffle this around a little bit. Uh, let's get one of these shower baths, I think. Uh, I want to get like a cheaper one. You know what? It's okay. I'm going to spend the big, the big bucks because this is just too cute. All of these shower curtain options. I feel like the whale is really funny. Again, I don't want this house to look too perfect. I want it to look realistic that these guys are young adults. So I think maybe we'll go with the... Um, oh, God. The whale's cute. I'm going with the whale, you guys. The whale's just adorable. Uh, and I'm not sure if this is going to be a little bit of an issue. So why don't we think about... It's not ideal, but if we put the door here, then at least... Oh no, that's not going to change anything. That ain't going to change a thing. Alright, we'll see how we go if they can get in. Otherwise, I'm not sure. Pet Obsessions! What's Maya's pet obsession? I don't know. Okay, let's give bath. Uh, give bath. There we go. Xavier's such a good boy, you know, helping Maya. Oh my god, Xavier doesn't have a job? How did we not get him a job? Okay. Let's look at skills. Hmm. Well, his fitness is going up, but Elliot's already. I feel like Xavier's kind of living off Sylvia. Maybe that's another thing that annoys Clarice and Victoria, that he might not have all his stuff together if he's unemployed. And not that it's bad to be unemployed for a period of time, but I think if he's always been unemployed, they'd be worried about that. Okay, cool. They can get in here easily. Yay! In your half. You're going to look so nice when you're all brushed and clean. Oh, look. May is so beautiful. And maybe we should put a collar on Mayor as well. Encourage misbehavior. No. We should probably go to bed, though. It's three in the morning. Yeah, I think what we'll do is get Xavier into bed once he's cleaned. Maya? Uh, so we'll get him to ask to lie down and then he can go to bed after this, after this bath. Time is done. Excellent. What a gorgeous dog. You know, these two suit each other. They suit each other so well. Aww. You know, maybe Sylvia and Xavier will be together forever. I don't know. What do you guys think? Do you think she'd maybe cheat on him if she got married too young and was interested in someone else? Or do you think she would really stick by him and be in there for the long run? Oh, so clean and nice. <laughs> Whoa. Love that animation. Okay, let's try and get Maya to lie down again. Okay, let's do that. Okay. Good, good girl. It is a girl, right? Yeah, I was gonna say. Okay, lie down and then we'll sleep in here. Good night, Maya. Sleep well. Aww, look, she's like, not over here, not over here. Swinky, three. Oh. <laughs> So adorable. Okay, Xavier, into bed you go. Into bed you go. That's so cute. Anyway, you guys, I'm going to leave this part right here. Do let me know what you would like to see in the next part. Thank you for all of your comments and enthusiasm. I love playing this save file. I love Bailey's storyline, so I can't wait to play more. So let me know. Anyway, you guys, I hope you're having a lovely morning, afternoon, or evening, wherever you are in the world. I'll speak to you soon.